Julian Howard and the Arboretum for gardening tips. Okay. Crew quarters, deep storage. Locate Gene, who's also in crew quarters, I think. Crew quarter. It's all crew quarters right now, which we were going to head to. And Matt Cothran was the first body we saw. Silence pistol ammo fabrication. Okay, escape pods then. That's very rude. I hope you realize how rude that is. What do you mean, blocked? What do you mean, blocked? I think I broke my picking up and dropping because of that tarp. Hey, Typhon lore. It sounds pistol. Yeah. There we go. Now we're all right. Save and load fixed it. Because I'd like to whip out that O2 container because I'm pretty sure these explode. That works very well for them. Very well indeed. They did that to themselves. The hell am I hearing? Oh. Eleven peel. Drink in a baseball glove, but I'm full. Wait, I have a weapon mod thing. Upgrade the silence pistol. Get a little more range on it. Why not? Maximum range. Now I can carry a baseball glove. EMP charge fabrication plan. Null wave shielding. I think I've got that one already. Why are you flickering? So do we think these pods work, then? Oh, you know, I can force open that one pod that was jammed open once upon a time. There was a greater mimic in there. I think it required just leverage, too, in fact. I could have done that a while ago. But it could be that these pods work. I don't know. It's clear, though. Because I don't know if the one message that we had gotten before was about, like, all of the escape pods don't work, don't try them, or just the set over there doesn't work, don't try them. Probably all. I feel like it'd have to be, like, Alex's special... special boy escape pod is the only one that works right. 
Is that it here? That was, that was it. We blew up a thing before it reached Earth. I guess. Uh, and, uh, something about the golden gun. We got to go to crew quarters for that, which I think we can go to. I think we got the key card for that just uh, recently. And yeah, I still I can't pry open doors like that. That's still off limits, which is totally fine. I can't just hulk my way through the entire game, ripping and tearing open every single door. <laughs> Although that would that would be kind of fun, though. <laughs> uh, dinner shifts begin at seven p.m. Oyster omelet with with jam and tomatoes. Good evening, Talos. Char grilled Siska eel in lemongrass with turmeric. Or a mate loat in seasoned wine sauce. Moonshade lemon capellini with Oserta caviar. Ocetra caviar. Pasta with beans and lightly fried sunburst bananas mixed green salad with Sky King pomegranate seeds and pecans. And spicy jam and tomato stew. A moonshade lemon meringue pie and a Methuselah uh, apple fritter. I'll take a fritter. I'm about. You need a deep storage. We need the voice to get through, the voice we get from their crew quarters. There's so much to do in crew quarters. Like, all the quests that I've got, pretty much, aside from the main one, is all crew quarters. I feel like we're going to be here for quite some time. Hmm. Mind-controlled people. Fantastic. You. I see you. Another puppet. Looking for me with black eggs behind your eyes. Come closer. Yes. A little closer. <laughs> Stupid puppets. What? You too? You want to come into a kitchen? Good. Come. Can't get me, can you? Oh my god, Carlos Popinga. How you doing, man? Been hearing a lot about you recently. Stun gun works great for these people, by the way. Speaking of. Keep sending and sending. When will you stop? Stop! Then right in the ass. Okay. So there's that. A lot of mind control people. Why do you obey? You can't fight the beast voice. Come here. They're quite good at spotting. Oh, this thing's range is really nice. You run out of puppets, huh? Maybe you starve. Whoever you are, run. There is no more food here except you. If you are still a hold of your brain, good. Others here? Or not? Shoot first before they get close. They're puppets. Bombs. Their master is close. Kill this or puppets or both. But do it before they kill you. When no more puppets, maybe we talk. Okay. Yeah, sure.
Take out all the puppets. I got enough stun ammo for it. No problem. Easy peasy. We clear over here? By the way. I got just like HUD markers everywhere. <laughs> uh, and I'm not sure where the proper controller dude's at. I think all the folks are out this way. Right in the face. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where'd the telepath go, though? Ah, way over there. Oh, what are you doing way over there? We'll have time to look around and such afterwards. First things first, let's get these zombies taken care of. I'm very glad I upgraded this as much as I did. Hmm. Well, I assume when their head's gone, they can't be mind controlled. I'm assuming. Okay, I think it's just me and the me and the telepath now. Fucking reload. Reload fast! <laughs> Kill a few of your puppets. Now you join them. Do I have just, like, apples or bananas, something that doesn't have any, like, material cost? Eleven peels, we can get rid of that. You, come to kitchen window. Let me see you. I can't tell if when it blew up, I saw some, like, other randos health bar, and it looked like they may have also blown up in that? I'm not sure. <laughs> suit what is in your name tab you um am you am you you killed this yourself ah if you want to come in be safe you go get something of mine huh here key it opens my room go there get my award it's important to me. Then, maybe we talk. I don't trust this dude at fucking all. Will Mitchell? There's still a mind control person here. So a couple of my control people here, another one walking their way over. Okay. We're good. Do I have a map for this area? Is there a recycler nearby? 
Because I'm... I'm totally full here. Elevators to the right that lead... Executive suites and such. Right. I'll be... Right back... To drop stuff off. Man, I gotta get that final uh, inventory upgrade one of these days. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, Mitchell, no life signs. Mm-hmm. Don't trust this fucking dude at all. Because the dude that I that I helped before, uh, with the wacky southern accent, he said that some big dude had come by and like crushed some dude and kept going. Either he's talking about my brother, or somebody else. And, uh, where was the recycler? This way, I think. I don't think it was my brother he was talking about. I kind of get the feeling that my brother is, like, sort of, sort of legit. I'm not sure what to f fully think about all that. I don't think he would just openly kill a dude, though, and keep walking somewhere. I don't think he's just, like, straight-up fucking evil. He's just really dedicated to his work and is willing to do whatever it takes to complete it, you know? That sort of thing. And this this dude's kind of big, so I was a little bit... A little bit sussy. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Mmm. Inventory space. And then... How many narrow mods do I need to fill up my inventory? Was that security? No, that is better stealth though. Suit modification 3, extra space, and two additional chipsets as well. Three more narrow mods. Ah, oh, so much space now. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Um, some of this is still like pretty large though, but at least I can make it kind of sort of work. Okay. Don't know how I managed to go so far without getting the upgrade. <laughs> I'll be honest, me, me being me. Um, yeah, it wasn't easy, let me tell you. There, so there's plenty of room for new things to be picked up and all that. I don't know why it's so loud down here. That's a little bit unnerving. And I'm actually tracking uh, what's his butt now. So... We can keep an eye out and see if we can find where dude's actually at. It could be this dude's a red herring as well, and maybe just the, the tracking bracelet is off. Because we have found tracking bracelets just laying around before. So maybe it's just a red herring. I don't know. I'm not going to kill the dude, though. I don't want to really kill anybody. Like, like that first dude. It's like, yeah, he's a piece of shit according to the rap sheet, but like, it's not up to me to kill the guy. You know, we can sort all that out later, you know? For now, maybe they can help me. Realistically, I'm the type of guy who I... Like IRL, I would adapt my personality to better fit those around me. That sort of deal. Oh, there's a... There's a tracky thing here, too. Intruder. Please help me. There is someone trying to enter my room. I have nowhere to hide. Hurry. Seriously? My cutters have no view of space? No windows at all? What is the one thing that a visitor staying on a space station might enjoy? Surely you have better quarters for Argentino Pero. Not sparkling. I don't know what passes for sparkling wine of Bortalos, but I assure you that flat piss in your, your concierge Delivered does not qualify. I poured it into the toilet where it belongs. I want a replacement as soon as possible. Better yet, would be a bottle of that Saradar bourbon I understand your CEO likes. And more glasses as well. The others are broken. 
So quoth Argentino Pero. New gym code, FYI, the code to the fitness center has changed. Too many people had given out the code to employees that didn't have service docked, that didn't have the service docked from their pay stubs. The new one is 6971, in case anyone has paid for it or gets it. Thanks, Emma. And yeah, Argentino Pero needs a bit of help. Utilities, area map, yes please, area map. There's also, there's also a map like literally right over there too. Uh, okay. And then up. Yeah, we're gonna be here for fucking ages, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a big area. But yeah, there's also the directory here. Like, it's not as ideal, but it works. It gets the point across. Pursuant to AU's orders, I've compiled a report concerning Annalise Gallegos and Associates encloses a suspicious conversation between Will Mitchell and Quentin Purvis to be reviewed by AU ASAP. I got the container set up. This is pretty weird, mm. Quentin. I know, but it totally different sense. face too. I don't want to know. I'm doing this as a favor, that's all. Cargo container 3232. It's on the other side of Cargo Bay B, next to the utility tunnel. When I was head chef at the Space Institute, no one asked me to conceal food in a cargo container. Just go easy on the eel, all right? Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Mark's out. Annalise Gallegos, Officer Malia Fowles for Alex U. 805 subject left private quarters, presumably to report for first shift, verified with psychotronic security, returned at 913, about an hour 10 after. Private quarters after shift hours, reason unknown. Then shortly after, observed entering subject's quarters, Quentin Purvis. Were there for about a half hour-ish, they left subject's quarters, carrying a portable drive. Fifteen minutes later, roughly, subject left private quarters, walked to cafeteria, admitted to kitchen by Chef Will Mitchell. Left crew quarters, verified psychotronic security, subject reported back to workstation. Returned to crew quarters, took meal into room. Like way later. Okay. Fine. Doesn't seem that suspicious. Oh, baseball glove! <laughs> Why there's so many baseball gloves? Leah Macy? Baseball glove. Flowers. Shotgun shells. Uh. Up an upgrade kit. Yo, I can press I and like assign that and stuff. Three neuropods in the medkit fabrication plan. Okay. Well, hey, I mean, three narrow mods. I'll take it. Ow, that box really hurt. It's a nice room to hide in if I need to get out quick because I can also lock it. Oops. Sorry. I can also lock it. I don't know why I right click to try to pull them. Don't worry about power flickering. Station is just hurting. Keep going. Crew cabins A. J Marks 102. I got a key card for it. I hear something.
Uh, we had this one already with the aching fingers from all that choking. Yes, that that's familiar. A whole table I can just pick up and throw around. Bullets. Bullets. I'm definitely hearing something. Three, five, six, four. Hacking four required, by the way. Weapon upgrade kit. Artemis golden pistol. All right. Um, the, gold, the golden gun. Easy peasy. Gold plated trophy pistol once belonging to the four time world champion sport shooter, Seleth Rain. The champion visited Telos 1 to capture a connect home of his brain with the Neuromod Division. During his visit, he was moved to present to present the pistol as a gift to Captain Jada Marks. 13 firepower, unmodified 10. Stronger. It is stronger. But it's also not silent. Should be noted. Well, I'll, um... Range first, I think. Okay. Cool. Oh, it is silenced. Well, never mind. <sighs> and baseball glove. And a busted TV. No, like, ventilation, anything to get into. I was thinking maybe there'd be a ventilation shaft that I could use to get around a little bit more. Sarah Elazar. All right. Kelstrup. Eel prototypes. Just a couple nasty looking hearts. Why you got so many hearts around, dude? Ooh, veggie blend. Yum. Psy hypofabrication plan. Typhon lure. Probably worth piling all the stuff up for a, uh, a load of biomaterial. Canned pears. Greetings, Kelstrup. Unfortunately, we won't see another case of... Until the next supply shuttle arrives. As always, Elliot will mark them EDS. Case of canned pairs marked EDS. ARNs. Deja vu has set in again. Retracing steps is going to be a little harder this time. It seems that Mueller's staff is not properly recording data, was not properly recording data. So all the progress they made since the last department wide removal is in jeopardy. We'll need to temper our expectations. Wiping the memories of the entire department is a tremendous setback, and I'm going to be beginning to question the practice versus the results we've seen. We should revisit the staggered system we discussed last year. Okay. I thought there'd be like a hidey hole somewhere in his office, maybe. 
An illusion. Um, don't know what the fuck you got going on in there. Let's role play as a heart thing. I think. Sounds fun, right? Plunk it there so it's reachable from anywhere. Mmm, heart. Hearing things again. There's another phantom over there. I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, yeah, we we just read that earlier in Alex's office, whatever behind the Iron Curtain. I think we've had also. We should meet soon. I work in Psychotronics. We should meet soon. Yeah, he goes. Somewhere private. You name the place and time, and I'll be there. Stay safe. Your volunteer database access request has been denied on grounds of insufficient security clearance and lack of job relevance. Thank you for understanding. What the hell? I have a special assignment for you today. I'm sending you down to Psychotronics with a kit of door sensor upgrades and want you to install them on every door on the deck. They may give you a hard time, but make sure they understand it's a safety issue. Let me know when the installations are complete. Sorry, tried to go in and do what she asked, but they absolutely refused to grant entrance. They were also very rude and a little scary. They took the sensors and said they would install them. I didn't know what else to say, so I gave up. Sorry. Not terribly worthwhile. Pretty sure I heard a phantom over there. Orchestrated objective reduction. Consciousness originates from processes inside neurons. Orc? K? Or consciousness is based on non compatible quantum processing. Dude, what the fuck ever? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Equay. Error. Well, it's straight up error. I'll hack in. Meeting Gustav. Miss Good went to follow up on the previous request. I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Leitner's visit. Is it still taking place? And if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? We'd love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. I think we read that part of the email before. Igwe, relate your previous requests. We'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. A lot of flavor emails and high simple fabrication plan again fine sure i'm so good at making those moon rock statue Panic. <sighs> Some vodka. Far scan. Far scan. Oh yeah, I got a new um, uh, scope chipset. Speed scan. And far scan is just a bunch of distance. Yeah. Possibly pass on that. No wave transmitter shielding. Maybe. 
I don't know, and pistol critical, yeah. And suit ship sets, yeah, I got extra space for that now. So I can grab... A battery flash I don't really care about. Radiation shielding though, I suppose? I didn't guess the battery one. Yeah, fine. The room is just forever loud now. It's just gonna forever be making noise. And it's gonna freak me out every time I'm down here. Hey, Will Mitchell's cabin. Like, actually Will Mitchell. Who... We're tracking is over there. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Transglutaminase, transglutaminase, TG or TJs, is naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Oh. Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet, Michelle. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst by party. <sighs> this is an A-B conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. I hate Skillet. Alright, well, there's a little bit of voice samples that we needed, too, which is nice. That that helps out. And yeah, there's so many warnings of, like, this isn't fucking Will Mitchell. <laughs> uh, I like it. Travis breath fogged up the glass to the airlock door, obscuring the faces of the royal astronomer and Mercy, smirking her signature smirk at him from the other side. I think we had this before, maybe? Pretty sure we did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I can do here, what do we got? Maybe some cool cooking recipes and I can, like, prepare some nice foods. Sorry to contact you during your downtime, but Alex has been working through the 4 in the morning shift and has put in a food request at the front desk. Says you know what he likes. Could you bring his meal to the executive suites? Code to the graph shaft is 1186. Thanks. Emote upgrade. Morgan, hey. I guess you must have shifted cafeteria visits or taking food in your quarters now, but wanted to say thanks again for the emote upgrade. You should hear Skillet now. Much better. Don't think Danielle liked it. So hopefully that doesn't cause any trouble between you two. Don't be a stranger. Still plenty of your favorite snacks in stock. Just swing on by whenever you get a breather. Appreciate the help. Will. Man, poor Will. No problem. Don't worry about Danielle. Poor Will. Yeah, it seems like he was an alright guy. He just liked cooking. Man. Then the bathrooms. I think we've got a poltergeist. Yeah, I... I was pretty fucking sure we had... 
some sort of poltergeist shit going on. Okay. Okay, think we're good here. That was kind of a, a fun little thing they did. <laughs> that, that was that was neat. Not a whole lot else going on besides that, though. That was... Pretty much it. Just a little bit of a spoop. A little bit of... Oh god. A little bit of reminder. That hey. You never know. Okay. Uh, the only room that we weren't able to get into... Is Salazar's. Elazar, not Salazar. Different game. Elazar. Why are there still so many mind controlled people if I took out the mind controlly? There must be another one then, right? Treasure map for Rosalind Swift. Level one somewhere. What is that? It's Danielle. <laughs> Trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No. No. Emma, I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? It's not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things too. I don't understand sometimes how you get like do some transcripts just have a couple messages on them because it's like their their PDA type thing? Is that what's going on with that? Because like I listened to a thing and it's like, hey, there's another one available. It's really confusing to me because I never know like... Is it just the UI acting weird? Were there multiple things I got? And then did it just interrupt itself? Did it cancel out? Was that the end of it? Man, am I glad I upgraded this thing so much. I didn't expect to use it for this. But that's okay. <sighs> A bunch of just food and stuff. Ah, flex of foam. Silence pistol, baseball glove. Alright. 
So there's another one. I'm assuming we have another mind control dude up here. Because I killed the one in the greenhouse and the others collapsed unconscious automatically. Harley Granger, Neuromod sales team stationed aboard Talos 1. Professional baseball day, 66 for the tornadoes. Yep, we had that as well. Grats to you. Hey, a Neuromod. Fabrication plan for the Boltcaster 1.3. Uh, is that a better one? Still a bit too clunky. Decreased weight, retaining structural stability, no more barrel splintering. Finalized name for the bolt caster, projective pain thrower, and Franklin's excruciator. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just the standard. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm still short. Morgan's availability are going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She'd like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow, if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. The executive suite's 1186. And treasure hunt. Greetings, adventurers. Each of you should have a map fragment by now. I managed to... Hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a new file on your workstations after the last session. They are map fragments. Work together and figure out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters. Then you'll be given your prize. Jesus Christ, blowing up over there with the treasure hunting. There's the whole conveyor belt of assholes coming by. It's like they're being sent to investigate or something. Look how many there are. Okay. So what was out the window then? The treasure map class is going to be quite something. There is a lot of things going on with that. Telepath. There it is. Powers not just limited to mind control. Watch out for the homing spheres. Can emit a powerful wave that nullifies other psychic abilities around it. Getting too close will get you mangled by another powerful blast. Glue doesn't seem to work well. Should keep away from it. Stick to long range weapons or a null wave device. Jesus. Okay. Has no idea where I am now. It being in that corner, though, makes things a little bit difficult. How, um, how special, how special do you think they are, like, with noticing things? Says glue doesn't work too well. I don't believe it. Is 
Do you like that combination of abilities, eh? I kind of thought pop and combat focus would have automatically taken me out of mimic rate, but interesting to note that it does not. Use pool at your own risk. No glass, drinks, or food in the pool area. Be considerate. No yelling or other loud noises. No running, pushing, or other dangerous horseplay. Dive only in designated areas. Take a shower before entering the pool. Do not enter the pool with a cold, skin, or other body infection, open wound, or diarrhea. Mm. Three and three quarters feet deep. Morgan is tiny. <laughs> So small. Morgan. Man, I always suspected. There's not a lot of loot here. Maybe up above by the lights. I don't know. <laughs> 